just wanted to say hi and say how excited I am to be doing this spring live right now. So we're going to, um, we're, we're, I'm going to be giving away um, three rolls of ribbon tonight. That's kind of exciting. Um, we have this blue and silver and this pink and gold. And then this one, this is probably hard with the plastic on it to actually see. This one, the color actually changes kind of purple to green. So I'm real excited about these ribbons. So let's get started. I'm going to put these ribbons over here. And I'm going to grab the first project. And we're also going to be doing a lot with the mini Bodabra today, just so you guys know. And let me put this over here. My table is not big enough. So I'll take this. Then I'm going to take my Bodabra bow wire. And I'm going to use silver here. So I'm just going to grab my silver Bodabra bow wire and find my scissors. And I'm just going to cut a piece of wire. And hi, Angela. I know you've got a lot of chances to win tonight, you guys. We're going to pick some fun things. So we're going to just cut, cut the end underneath. And then I'm going to take this pink. And I think I have, this is like a 21-inch wide deco mesh. And I've got about a yard of it. So all I'm going to do is just lay my deco mesh in, fold it back and forth. We're just going to fold this over here and fold this back. And hi, Pamela and Becky from Ohio. So now I've got here, I've got 25 inches of a two and a half inch yard ribbon. We're just going to put that in there. And then I've got another tail here. So we're just going to put that tail in going this way. And then I'm going to take my beautiful bouquet. I'm just going to lay this. And, you know, I got this on sale. It had poinsettias in it. But it's like it was so cheap. So that I just said, you know what, I could use this for spring because the pink works for spring. So now I'm going to just take my ribbon and fold it back and forth. And so I love how we can just lay the whole bouquet into the Bodabra. And now you do have to be on the live in order to win. So just please make sure you stay through till the end because we will be picking the winners throughout the live. And now I'm going to fold this over here and fold this over. And again, I'm just twisting and I'm just gonna fold this one and just fold this one back over here. And where is PGH, Pennsylvania? And now put this down here. And hi, Nancy. Hi, Audrey. I'm so happy you guys are here to watch me. And you can see what we're doing here. It's just pulling this through. And we're just going to pull this up. And you can see with my wire and my slip knot, I'm not struggling at all with my bow. And we're going to turn it over. And I'm just going to tie a knot here. And this is why I love the Bodabra bow wire. And Linda, hi. And pull these apart. And just shape everything out. And kind of just bring my loops. And so what I love about this, this could be even like a bouquet bow. But you can see, and now isn't this just absolutely beautiful? Let's see if we can see how this looks here. So um, let's see. Marilyn from the UK and Brianna from Kansas. Hey, guys, I'm so excited you joined me. And please sprinkle to your friends. So isn't that just so fun? And it was so super simple to make. So now what I'm going to do is put this one aside. And I'm going to make another. Let's go ahead. And, and what I'm going to do today, I'm so excited. We have our spring ribbon kit. And so we're going to make something using some mesh and also our spring ribbon cap. 
So let's see if I can put this over here so I can see. Thank you for sprinkling, Debbie from Missouri. Oh, PGA is Pittsburgh. Thank you for explaining that to me because I had no clue. So is it, um, thank you, Audrey. And so now I'm going to just pull this. Oh, Marilyn, I'm glad you got the add-on ruler, and I'm going to make some bows with the mini today, too. So I have this piece of, of deco mesh, which is just getting caught on absolutely everything. And so now I'm going to, I've got about 45 inches of this. And all I'm going to do is just center my mesh, and I'm just going to scrunch it all down into my bodabra. And that's all I'm doing here is just scrunching my mesh into the bodabra. Thank you, Catherine, for sprinkling. Everybody, you guys, thanks so much for sprinkling. Now, this is going to be a really big bow, and I'm going to be using some of the ribbon from our brand new um, spring ribbon kit that is just so, like, you guys are going to love it so much. Um, there, it comes with, I think, that. You can buy it if you don't already have a Bodabra. We have a kit that includes the Bodabra and Bodabra wire and all the ribbons. So I'm just going to put this down here for just one second. And now I'm going to start using um, pieces from my spring ribbon kit. So we're going to, I'm going to actually stand up now so that I can put everything in here. And I'm going to just take my um, green, I'm going to take my, I'm going to do my pink ribbon first. And so I'm just going to lay this down in here. And then I have my beautiful green ribbon. We'll lay that down. So we're just basically putting in the tails now. And the yellow one, which I've already dovetailed, but I'm going to have to come back and dovetail everything else in a minute. Let's scrunch all that down there. And then I'm taking my green and I'm just going to take the right side of my ribbon and lay that down. We're just going to loop it around and again take the right side of the ribbon and scrunch that in. Then I'll find my center. And oh, Melody, you just got your big bodabra. I'm so excited for you. You're going to have so much fun with it. And everybody, please join our Bodabra fan gallery if you're not already a fan. Mary, thank you. Love this ribbon. I absolutely adore this ribbon. It's like a thick fabric ribbon, and it is wired. Um, so in a minute, I'll just show you all the ribbons that come in the kit. But I'm using a lot of them in these projects, so you'll see anyway. So then I'm just going to finish this with my one-and-a-half-inch ribbon. I'm just going to go down there and then make my loops. And then I have this cute little flower. So I'm just going to add my little flower in here. And now I will take my wand and just kind of put this going this way and take my wand. Now, one of the things you guys will notice is when the bow dabber gets really full, you kind of have to pull the towers out a little bit to get your wand in there. But most people don't put as much stuff in as I do. So um, you use the Bodabra as an extra set of hands. Exactly. That's pretty much what it is. But it really, what's nice is your hands could never hold this much ribbon. And as those of us who are getting older, get older and have arthritis, the, the Bodabra is so awesome. So now I'm just going to separate the ends. And I'll move my bodabra. But as you guys can see, I am totally not struggling with this. And I'm just going to bring it around to the back. And I'm going, I know, isn't it amazing how big this bow is? Say, I, I know I love this ribbon. And this ribbon is from, not the mesh, but the ribbon is from our bodabra spring ribbon kit. And I think Remy will put a, a link up there. So we're just going to do this. And then now I'm just going to shape out my bow kind of bring my loops to different sides. And this could be a really big dorbo or um, could be really pretty even on a big wreath. So now I'm just going to take my tails and bring those down. 
and I want to dovetail these ends. So let's dovetail this here. Um, go this way and dovetail this one. Because the dovetailing really does give you, whoops, my scissors aren't very good. Let's get that cut here. The dovetailing really gives you a finished, um, finished tail. Bring these down here. And let's see if I can just dovetail these two together. And just go this way, dovetail them. So now we have that really finished look on our, on our, our bow. And so now let me show you this. Isn't this just so super, super pretty and so simple? And the ribbon, I'm just blown away by Anna, who's our designer, who put the ribbon kit together for the website. It's just really simple. So now I'm going to put this one aside. And um, I'm going to use, I'm going to make a little bow using, it can be like a hair bow using um, our other ribbons. So these are the ribbons like that come in the kit. So we have these ribbons here. We have this and they're between 10 and 25 yards each of all the ribbons. So let's, um, can you get that from the front Remy? Okay. So you can see like all of these different ribbons that come in the um, ribbon kit. And um, let me just see if I can bring this camera down just a tad so it can show you everything. There you go. So now you've got all of these ribbons here and put that aside. And then you have these ribbons here. So, and these are two and a half inch and 25 yards. So you're getting a lot of ribbon. And I think Remy will put the link up so you can see it. Um, and he, I, so now let's go ahead here. And I'm going to fold my wire. I don't need quite that much wire. I'm going to use my gold wire. I'm just going to fold it in half. And I'm not sure what I did with my um, ruler. So I normally would use my ruler here, but we're not going to this time. So I'm just going to take this over here. And let's kind of get our wire out of the way there. And um, so I've got my wire folded in half. And I'm just tucking it underneath. Then I have um, about three quarters of a yard, and this is one of the ribbons you get in your ribbon cap. I'm just gonna fold that in half. We're gonna make what we call a boutique bow. So I'm just gonna do a little mountain up here. We're just gonna fold this over, take the back of this. Yeah, you really can make gorgeous bows with a bodabra. I don't know of any other bow maker that you can make the variety of bows. So now I'm gonna make an X. And again, I'm gonna take the right side of the ribbon and I'm just gonna do my little mountain in the middle here and scrunch that down. Then I'm gonna take my bottom loop and I'm gonna again do a little mountain right here in the middle. And the reason I do this little mountain is because that way I don't have to sew. So there's our first ribbon. And then now what I'm gonna do is take the right side of the ribbon here scrunch that in, then I'm just gonna fold it over, take the right side of the ribbon and just scrunch that down in there and then just scrunch the whole bow in. And now I'll just um, bring this back up, pull my wire through my slip knot. Thanks for the love, everybody. And pull that really tight, pull it out of the bodabra. I'm gonna separate the ends of my wire and bring that around to the back. And I'm just going to tie a knot. And then what I can do is take my one of my um, hair bow clips and I'll just take the um, top of the clip and just put that down and I'm gonna just kind of open my clip and just bring this around. And I'm just gonna bring it around twice. Let's bring this all the way over here. And then what I'm going to do is do the same thing with the other one. I'm going to kind of wrap it underneath a couple times here. And then again, I'm just going to bring this through, wrap it around, and I'm just going to knot my wire. 
that makes it really easy. Thank you, Denise. I appreciate that you love this. And then bring this around here. And this one around here. And that's going to stay. So I'm just going to clip my end. And then I had some fun. I came up with something different. So what I did is I took this ribbon that we're making the um, bow with, and I'm going to fold it in half, and I'm just going to twist it. So we're just twisting it here. And then, oh, Marsha loves it too. Thanks, you guys. I really appreciate it. I'm just going to cut the end off here. And... I would suggest um, using a glue gun or a permanent glue here, but what I'm going to do is take this end here and I'm just going to put it through here, bring it around the back, and I'm going to just, actually, I'm taking, I take it back. I'm going to do this a little differently. I'm going to put that there. Bring this around, and then I'm just going to take my glue dot, and let's just clip this here. Take the glue dot and just put that underneath there, and then you have a really cute, let's, this is all wired ribbon, so I'm just going to kind of puff it all out, and Go here and here, and I'm going to clip this little end here because we don't want that showing. And now you have a really adorable little hair bow. So let me know what you think. Isn't that really pretty? Just such a super simple little hair bow that you can make. So now I'm gonna make a different hair bow in the mini bow dabra. And so let's take our mini. And please, everybody, I appreciate so much. Thank you, Joanne. She says it's very, Joanne Wilson Jiver. And Peggy Ann thinks it's cute. You guys, I love it. So now I'm so used to using the big bow dabra that I have to make sure I cut my wire small enough for the mini. So now I'm gonna make just a one tail pin bow one tail pinwheel bow. So I'm basically using, this is a one and a half inch ribbon and it is 26 inches long. So I'm just gonna twist it and lay that down into my mini bodabra and didn't cut my wire quite long enough. So now I'm gonna bring it back around and twist it. And, oh, I'm going to make a flower, Pamela. I know. Isn't it awesome? The flowers you can make with the mini bodabra. So much fun. And I think I have the stuff out here to make one. So for those of you who haven't seen a flower made in the mini bodabra, we're definitely going to do that. So now I'm just going to scrunch this down. And honestly, I should have my measurer here because it would tell me exactly that my loops are the right length. But I think they are just from viewing them. And now I'm just gonna pull this up through here. Pull it tight while it's still in the mini bodabra. Pull it out. I'm gonna just separate my ends and bring this around to the back. And then you would just tie it onto a, um, tie it onto a, um, hello, a clip like we did with the last one. So here you can see you have like a really pretty little pinwheel bow. It's so super, super simple to make with one tail. So now what I'm going to do is take this bow and put this aside. Yes, I'm going to make the flowers. I'll make a flower right now. Um, you guys should see this mess here. It is just like incredible. So I think I put the stuff in this little bag to um, make a flower, let me just grab a quick sip of water. Make that safe over there. So now, hi, Kentucky in the house. Oh, that reminds me, Jill, thank you so much for sharing. That reminds me, we are going to pick the winner right now for our beautiful blue and uh, 
blue with silver polka dot ribbon. And this is how we're gonna pick the winner. The very first person who says where they're from, and it starts with an O in the United States, go ahead and type that in. And the first person that comes up, Remy's gonna let me know. So that you live in a state that starts with an O. And that's how we're gonna pick it. So the first person that says that is going to be the winner of that blue um, ribbon. So I'm kind of doing it a different way because we don't have a way right now to pick the winners in another way. So, but Brenda Lee Bailey, what, from Ohio. Cool, Brenda Lee Bailey, you are the winner of that ribbon. So in a minute, we are gonna pick another winner. So now I'm just gonna take, now the thing with the flowers, is we cut the petals pointy. So it's the opposite of dovetailing. So you're just gonna fold it in half and cut it as a point. And then now I'm gonna put that here and put this one down there and take the third one. And these are just so, just in case anybody wants to know, these are about five and a half inches before I cut them. So now I'm gonna, then I'm gonna take um, these little pink ones here and these again are cut kind of at a curve and we're just gonna lay these down in here. So this is just an easy way to make a great little bow, flower. And the flowers are wonderful to add onto your wreaths. So we're just gonna make this one here. Then all I'm gonna do is take my mini Bodabra wand just give everything a scrunch going down. And what's cool is you can just use any ribbon that you have, any scraps. It works best if it's wired ribbon though. So now I'm just gonna pull this through, pull it tight while it's still in the bodabra, pull it out, separate the ends. And hey, everybody, don't forget, we're gonna be doing another drawing in just a few minutes. So I'm gonna bring this around to the back, tie this off and tie a knot and tie another knot and then this is really this can be you can put these on your on your wreaths you can actually um you know make a little hair bow with this so we're just going to shape this all out and shape this here shape that one and what's nice with the wired ribbon is you can just kind of pull it all up like a little flower. And so, so super, super simple. So let me know what you think. I'm just gonna put this over here so everybody can see. And you could put it on a hat, put it in a, you know, put it on a wreath in a flower after you finish your wreath. So it's so super, super simple. So now I'm gonna put this one away. And while we have the mini Bodabra out, let's make another um, hair bow. And I went to the dollar store the other day and I picked up some bunches of flowers and I just pulled these off of the flowers. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start with my tails. And I have two different ribbons that are about eight inches long. Oh, I need my wire. And I'm just going to um, fold my wire in half, take this, lay this down into my mini Bodabra. And thank you, Peggy Ann. Thank you, Audrey. Thank you guys so much. And so now I'm just going to scrunch this down in here and I've already dovetailed the ends. Just tie that, put that underneath. And so now I'm gonna just make a bow using these. So I want the right side of the ribbon on the outside of the loop. So we're gonna start and twist it. Whoops. What am I doing? Oh no, that is what I want. Okay, so, but it's cool how you can do a double, a double bow. So we're gonna pull this over here and twist it. Come back over here and fold and twist. So it's nice because you can make 
really pretty bows. And then let's just go make two really little loops here. I'm just going to scrunch this in here. And then I'm going to take my flowers and lay those going. Actually, let's do this. Let's lay these in this way, just so that they go right in the middle there. And then lay this one going this way. And let's grab my wand here because it's a lot, a lot of ribbon. The thing about the Vedabra to remember is that the towers are only so high. And so you can fit as much in here as you can fit into the towers. And then as soon as you get too high for the towers, then you go into the big bodabra. So we'll pull this through, pull it tight while it's still in my bodabra. I'm gonna pull it out and separate my ends bring this around to the back, make sure my flowers stay out front. And I'm just going to tie a knot. Oh, Kathy, it is so easy. It's not just me. Sometimes it just takes a little practice, but mostly it's just super, super simple. So now we're just going to take our flowers and I have a little couple pieces of, of ribbon that I want to just clip off here. Oopsie Daisy. Not yet, but we're working on it. Um, but you can buy it. There, it. there are a couple stores, and you might try Amazon if you guys have Amazon, because we are starting to sell internationally um, on Amazon. So now you just have this really pretty little um, flower and hair bow or package bow. It's just such a spring, and I think, let's let, move these down here. I think this could be really pretty for like Mother's Day gift wrapping. So now I'm going to put this one aside and we pick two winners, one winner, right? Okay. Next winner is going to be the first person who's from a state starting with an M. I feel like I'm playing World of Fortune or something. We've got an M. So I'm going to make one more cute little bow in the mini bodabra and then we're going to go and do another bow in the big bodabra so the first person who says a state not a city that you're from a state that starts with an m oh linda louise from massachusetts congratulations you're our winner now if you won make sure that you pm private message me um, bodabra to let us know that you won and um and then, and I'll need your mailing address, but don't do what somebody did last week. Don't go onto the Bodabra website and say your address because then the whole world will see it. So just go to the Bodabra website, I mean the Bodabra um, Facebook and just PM me and um, let me know that you're the winner. So we're just gonna scrunch this down. And so all I'm doing is I'm taking a six inch wide tool and we're just scrunching it all into the mini Bodabra. Now I have this piece of tool, which is six inches, but I folded it in half. So now I'm gonna just scrunch this all in here. I'm just get it all scrunched down. Oh, Sharon, thank you. It makes me feel so awesome when people tell me that they like how I teach. So I'm really excited about it. And I'm gonna keep trying. Remy, is it gonna be possible to do these on Sunday night? So most of the time, we're going to try to do these on Sunday nights, and hopefully I'll have Remy with me, but otherwise we'll figure out a way for me to do it on my own. So now I'm going to just take my wire, pull this up, pull it through my slip knot, pull it tight while it's still in my mini Bodabra. Now I'm going to just pull it out, and this is the cool thing with Bodabras, you're never struggling. I'm going to bring it around to the back, and we have one more winner so we're gonna get to that winner in just a second and i'm gonna now just oops that's the thing about the tool is it gets all into everything so now i'm just gonna tie that off and then i have a ponytail holder so i'm just gonna tie this onto my ponytail holder and tie it knot and we'll double knot it 
And then, thank you, Catherine. I mean, I just, I love my vote average. I mean, obviously I'm partial, but and then I'm gonna finish off today with a swag. So um, using some of our ribbon from our spring ribbon kit, because I just think it's so absolutely beautiful. So now you have this really cute, super simple to make little ponytail holder. So now I'm gonna put this away and I'm gonna go on to our next one. And this is gonna be a big project. So I'm actually gonna move my water because knowing me, I will probably make a mess of it. I'm gonna pull this over here and definitely let me know everybody if Sunday night at this time is a good time for us to do the live. So now I'm going to just fold this in half and lay this down into my Bodabra. And Remy, this is gonna be a big one, so we'll probably wanna go to the upper. I'm just gonna lay this down and I'm gonna move my iPad out of the way, otherwise it's probably gonna go flying. Um, so here, oh great, I'm glad this is a good time. Oh, you guys, I'm so happy, because I think this is a good time for a lot of people. So now I'm just reaching for all of my stuff for my swag, and we're gonna take these beautiful yellow roses. I'm just gonna lay these down. Let's get everything tucked underneath. And um, I've got um, some other um, yellow roses. And we have some greenery. I'm gonna lay the greenery in here. And then I'm gonna lay my, let's make these stems just a little bit longer. And this is the cool thing that a lot of people don't realize. You can lay all of this stuff in your bodabra so you don't have to make a bow and then hang it onto the, onto the um, greenery. It just saves a step. So then I have, um, grab my tails here. And again, all of these ribbons are in the Bodabra Spring Ribbon Kit. And Remy will put the link on that for that on here for you. And then we're gonna take the pink. I'm just gonna lay the pink. So this could be a really pretty like centerpiece. And we're gonna lay this, or it could even be a door swag. We're gonna lay this down in here. And then I'm gonna take my green ribbon and I'm, I'm let's see if I can measure this got about a yard, two yards. I thought I got about almost three yards of this ribbon. And what's cool is the kit comes with 25 yards. So you've got plenty of yards for a lot of projects. I'm gonna twist it, I'm gonna fold it back and twist, fold it back. And um, we're almost getting ready. Hi, Duet. We're almost getting ready to pick our winner, our third winner. And this time it, let's see, a city or not, I'm sorry, not a city, a state starting with the letter um, P. So if you live in a state and the, your, the letter um, of your, your first letter of your state starts with a P, then, and I'm gonna just dovetail this one here. Whoops, there we go. Then you could be our winner. And the last ribbon we had to give away is this really pretty green, but turns kind of pink or purple when it's near pink or purple. So now, oh, do we have a winner, Mark? Um, oh, cool, Denise. Yeah, M, the M person, um, the M, who won? Do we know who won the M, Remy? Do we remember? You got a contact. Oh, Linda Louise, you won the M one. So we'll need you to just PM Bodabra. If you won tonight, we had three lucky winners. And we're going to keep doing this with, with people winning on our Sunday lives. So make sure that you let your friends know. I think we're going to try um, to go live at 7 p. I mean, 7 p.m. Eastern, 5 Central, or 5 Mountain, 6 Central, and um, 4 Eastern. I mean, Pacific. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to do that again. So this one I've already dovetailed, so I'm just going to scrunch that down in there. 
And then I have one more of our spring ribbon to add on. So we're just going to put that there. And we're just going to fold this back and forth and twist. And this is like a really, I, I can't even explain it. It's kind of a burlap, but the whole thing's kind of wired. It's really a nice ribbon to work with. I'm going to fold this back and keep folding. So tonight was fun. If you guys um, like this live, please share with your friends. And we are going to try to do um, a live on next Sunday as well. I'm just going to put my little button loop in the middle there. And now I'm going to grab my wire and bring this back up. And I could use my wand, obviously, but I'm just, the wand isn't going to do much good because I've got so much ribbon in here. And of course, we don't want it going over the towers. So we're going to pull this really tight while it's still in the bodabra. And this is what's so awesome is I just pull it out. And you can see how much stuff is in there. And I'm just holding it with my hand. And so now what I'm going to do is separate the ends. I'm not going to pull it really tight. And I'm going to bring it around to the back. And again, I'm just going to tie it real tight here. Make sure I double knot it. Maybe I'll even triple knot it. And then what I'll do is bring this back over. I'm going to just kind of bring my tails down. And I'm going to let these tails just kind of go however they want to go. And just shape all my loops out. And did we put three runners, right, Nomi? Okay. I just want to make sure. So that's so cool. And congratulations for everybody who won. And please um, share or PM or I think sprinkle, just send lots of love. And um, I just want everybody to know how absolutely excited I am that you joined me tonight. And I hope to see you all next week on our Facebook Live. Hopefully we'll, and oh, don't forget, tomorrow night at 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Mountain, 6 p.m. Central, and 7 p.m. Eastern, Nick will be doing the live. And then next Sunday, I hope, I'll be doing a live at 4 p.m. Pacific, 5 Mountain, 6 Central, and 7 Eastern. So please make sure you join me. It's going to be so much fun. I'm just having a blast doing these bows and working with you all. So we'll just show you what we made today, and then let me know your favorite. This is um, the, the last one that we made, which is our beautiful floral pick and um, wreath. And then we have this really pretty, cute little um, hair bow that we made, the clip. And then, whoops, I have this cute little um, headband or hair bow. And, oh, my gosh, we made a lot. And then <laughs> we have this really pretty kind of like a wreath bow be really pretty for even for a little girl's door so we'll put this one aside and then now i'm going to put that aside and i know i made more oh here we go so we made this cute little pinwheel bow with the mini bodabra and we also made this was using our spring ribbon kit that we made at the beginning which is this really pretty um pretty wreath and scrunchy so the deco mesh didn't come in the kit but these three ribbons come in our spring ribbon cap so i just think that it's just so pretty and it's hard to show it here i know i'll move back then you can see it better so thank you very much oh wait wait where's the flower i know i made a flower too oh well oh nope i don't have the flower Oh, goodness gracious, it's somewhere in my mess. <laughs> but you guys, thank you. I'm going to show this one again because I really love how that came out. So I just want to thank you guys very much for joining me. And I will see you next week. Bye.